In this video, we will try to solve a problem on break-even point uh, in the total revenue and total cost functions. The question is like this. Total cost function and total revenue function are given as we are given the total cost function which is equal to minus x square plus 150x where x is the quantity and cost function is given as 20x plus 4000. This is our total cost function. What will be break even level of output we have to find the break even level of output the options are 50 80 20 30 4000 80 or 130 80 okay first let us see what is break even point it is very simple uh, break even break even point is that very point where our total revenue is equal to total cost okay this is the condition for break even now what is our total revenue so our total revenue should be equal to total cost now in place of tr we have r x that is revenue is a function of x okay and similarly uh, total cost is depicted here uh, c of x that is uh, cost is a function of x that is the level of that is the output level okay so uh, for break even our total revenue should be equal to total cost this is our total revenue so i will write here minus x square plus 150 x i am writing in the small caps so it should not bother you we should be equal to 20 x plus 4000 okay so we have to just equate the total revenue and total cost functions now solving this what we can do here uh, if we transpose uh, let us say if we take this uh, 20x or we first take this uh, minus x square on rhs so this will become plus x square okay then uh, we have 150x minus 20 so this is if we take this here this will become uh, positive okay and if we take this here it will become ne uh, negative so we have minus 130 x plus 4000 is equal to zero so we have an quadratic uh, equation here now solving for x let us try to solve it for x so using the quadratic formula that is our x should be equal to minus b plus minus b square minus 4 a c and what are these a b and c is a is simply the coefficient of x square uh, b is the coefficient of x and c is the constant term okay so just inserting the values here so we have minus from the formula and our b is uh, minus 130 so i will write here minus 130 then we have plus minus b square our b is minus 130 so i will write minus 130 and it's square minus 4 our x the coefficient of x square is here 1 so i will write here 1 in place of a and our c is 4000 so i will write here 4000 divided by 2a i just forget here to write the uh, denominator so here we have 2a okay now solving this minus into minus is plus so we have 130 here plus minus uh, the uh, now uh, what is here we have minus 130 whole square uh, square of any negative number is positive so 130 into 130 is 169 uh, i guess so i will write 169 and we have two zeros here so 130 into 130 should be equal to 169 minus uh, 4 4 that 16 so i will write here and this is 16 and we have one two three we have three zeros here okay divide by 
2 times a sorry i forget here it is here 1 okay in place of a we have 1 so we have 2 into 1 is 2 okay i hope i am making sense here now we have 130 plus minus now what is 16900 minus 16000 so i write here 1 so we have we have one six nine zero zero one six nine zero zero and to this we have to subtract one six zero 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 so this comes out to be zero zero nine minus zero is nine so six minus zero six minus one minus one so these are here zero so we are left with nine hundred here divided by two or we can write it like this 130 mm, let me draw the proper symbols here we have 130 uh, plus minus now it is simply uh, the root of 900 is 30 so I will write here 30 square because 30 into 30 is 900 here square and root will get cancelled divided by 2 so we are left with 130 plus minus 30 divided by 2 which comes out to be we get two values here that is first we get 130 plus 30 divided by 2 which comes out to be uh, 160 divided by 2 uh, which comes out to be 80 here so one value is 80 and another value will come 130 minus 30 divided by 2 because we have plus minus here so we get here two values 130 minus 30 is 100 so i will write here it is equal to 100 and divided by 2 which comes out to be 50 okay so uh, for x that means x is equal to 80 80 and 30 sorry 80 and 50 80 and 50 so break even occurs at two points at the output level of 80 and at the output level of 50 so the correct option should be option a so it was very simple just remember the break even point is a point where our total revenue is equal to total cost and then you can solve it easily using the quadratic formula i hope i make myself clear